Hey everyone, welcome to Wikcode, where in this video we're going to learn how to create this login form using only HTML and CSS. So it's just a static form, it has no functionality, but we can see we've got cool things like hover effects. Let me go over the inputs. This is for the username. So say the username is, username is Wikcode is amazing, and then we type in our password. But this is what we're going to be building. Also note how this is a full page background image, so no matter how we change the size, say we move it around, up and down, it's all going to be the background image will still be there and still fully centered and intact. But so now I'm going to move this over to the side. So here's what we're going to be building, and this is going to be our code. Note we already have our image right here called space.jpg. But now let's create our HTML file called index.html. And the first thing we're going to do is just write, put in our boilerplate HTML and also some imports. So the first link element here is going to be our CSS that we used to style this. And the second link element here is going to allow us to use an external library to use icons, specifically this icon right here. Note we specify the rel or relationship as style sheet, as both of these are style sheets. This one also is a minified CSS file. But now let's write the HTML form. I'm just going to paste this in. So paste in our form right here. And so of course an HTML form is used to collect user input. And now let me open this up with live server. So this is what we look like now. So this form will send post requests to whatever endpoint you provide here. Then we have a container that we're going to use, apply some flex styles to, to center everything. We have our icon right here, our login, our username and password inputs, our submit button, and so on. But this is all we need for the HTML. Now let's start writing the CSS, which is going to be a file called styles.css. And so the first thing we're going to do is import the font that we're going to be using. So we're going to be using this at import right here to import a font from Google APIs called Rubik and Moon Rocks, which is a spacey kind of font. And basically this import rule allows you to import one style sheet into another style sheet. And now after this, let's create some variables. So these are gonna be variables or global variables for colors that we can use throughout. So our primary color is gonna be white, secondary one is some grayish color, and a tertiary one is black. And now let's create a small CSS reset to standardize some properties. So by default, all colors will be white, we'll have no margin and padding, box items will be border box and so on. And now let's dial our body element. And what we're gonna do is give it a that full background image and also make it so all of its children are centered horizontally and vertically. So we use Flexbox here to center everything horizontally and vertically. We set the minimum height to 100 view height so that the smallest size the body can take is the entire view height. Then we use all this to set the background image to be the entire background of the body element. Now let's style our login container. And our login container has an ID of login container. And we're going to use Flexbox once again. This will center all the elements horizontally. And this right here will space them out evenly vertically. So we can see how vertically they're spaced out evenly, but they're centered horizontally, which is done with align item center. We set the background color to transparent, and then we use backdrop filter, which basically lets us add a graphical effect behind an element, and we set that to be a blur. We then create a border around using our secondary color, add some widths and padding, and create rounded edges with a border radius. And now let's style our input elements, and we're going to do this with a class called login input. And if we go back into our HTML file, we can see all of our inputs and buttons have the class login input. And what we do is we round them, we give them a border, we make them span the entire width of their parent container with a padding of 10 pixels. And this is so the username and password aren't right around here. And they have some space to the left. And now we're gonna add some more specific styling to our username and password inputs. And we're gonna do that by specifying that we wanna style input where the type is text and where the type is password. And we can see back in HTML file, our type here is text and type is password. And for these, we just set the color of the text, background color to transparent, and we also add a transition for the border color. And this will come in handy when we're adding some hover effects. But now let's change the color of our placeholder text in our inputs, which is this username and password text. And we can do that by using the string placeholder right here. And we just set this to be our secondary color. And now let's add the styles to our username and password inputs when they're both in hover and focus. So when they're in focus and hover, they're not gonna have an outline. So we can see that now. 
they're going to have a border of white and they're going to transition linearly. So now when we hover over, we have a sm small transition. And now let's style our submit button. So at the bottom, we're just going to paste this in. So now we set the cuts to the color. So now we set the color of our button to tertiary. We add a transition for the background color so that we can transition between our secondary color and the transparent between our secondary and primary color. So if we hover over now, we can see this transition as we leave. But that's all it takes to build this. So now we can see if we just change the size of this, everything looks good. We have our stuff working here. But so this is how you build this. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments. I'll try again back to you. But besides that, if you want to support me, please consider downloading my Chrome extension called Witceptor. But besides that, thank you and have a good one.